Hey friends, it's our last lesson of the week. We are going to shift over to doing some science. This is learning with Little Tweet and Mrs. Hill. And it's still Friday, April 24th, and we're working on day 18 lessons. So remember for science, sorry guys, I got all sorts of papers over here. For science, you need just to take a plain piece of paper, draw a line down the middle, put an S on one side for same and a D on the other side for different. That's all you need and a pencil, okay? So paper, pencil, and we are gonna learn about something new in science. So we've already talked about mammals and the different characteristics that mammals have in common. I wonder if you can think of any of those characteristics before we move on to something new. Let's kind of review what we've learned about mammals. Not all of it, just a little bit. So what do we know already about mammals? Hmm, let's take about 10 seconds to think about that. When you have an idea, put your finger on your nose. Not in your nose, on your nose, okay? So you're thinking about, what do you know about mammals? Hmm, mm -mm. Oh, I see a mammal. It's Mr. Hill, he's a mammal. <laughs> hey, hold on, I'm actually doing a video. <laughs> okay, so what do you know about mammals? I know that mammals have either fur or hair, right? I know that mammals are warm-blooded and they are viviparous, which means they don't hatch out of eggs, they're born from their moms. Um, that's all I can think of right now. Okay, we also learned about birds. What do we know about birds? Like little tweet. Hmm? Birds. Take about 10 seconds to think about birds. What do you know? Put your finger on your nose when you're ready. Not in your nose. On your nose. All right. So I know that birds have wings and feathers and beaks. And most of them fly, but not all of them, right? Like penguins are birds, but they don't fly. Um, I also know that they are oviparous, oviparous, meaning that they hatch out of eggs. Um, and they're also warm blooded, okay? So we've already learned some things about mammals. We've learned some things about birds. Today, we're going to learn about reptiles. It's a different kind of animal, okay? So, Let's go ahead and watch this video to learn a little bit more about reptiles. Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn about some very interesting vertebrate animals. We present the reptiles. Reptiles are vertebrate animals which are characterized by their special way of moving. Many move by dragging their tummy or abdomen on or close to the ground. Their name in Latin means just that. Reptare means to crawl or slither. Many are terrestrial, but there are also some that live in water. Terrestrial means they live on land. So some reptiles are terrestrial, they live on land, but some can live in the water. That's, that's called aquatic. All reptiles have a number of characteristics. Ooh, by the way, oh man, I started the whole thing over. Sorry guys. I wanted to talk about this one reptile. All reptiles. This guy. Does anybody know what that is? I bet some of you know. This is called a kimono dragon. I'm almost positive. So this is actually a reptile that's not in America, um, but it's, unless it's at a zoo, I don't, I've never seen one in real life, but um, it is a kind of dragon. It's called a kimono dragon, but I think, I hope that's right, but it doesn't breathe fire guys and it doesn't fly, but it is big. All right, here we go. Let's keep learning about reptiles. Let's have a number of characteristics we should know about so we can recognize them. Reptiles are cold-blooded animals that breathe with
with their lungs. They are oviparous. Oh, there's that, that word is, we know. They reproduce by eggs. When the eggs develop and hatch, the babies are <gasps> just like their parents, but very small. Aren't they cute? As you can see, reptile skin is covered with strong, tough scales, and some, like tortoises, even have a shell. It looks like he has his house on his back, doesn't it? As for feeding, well, most reptiles are carnivorous. Uh oh, well, let's not watch that part. <laughs> let's not watch that part. Okay, whoops. So, carnivorous, carnivores eat meat. I think that little rat might have just gotten eaten. There are lots of interesting things you should know about reptiles, such as most snakes have venom in their fangs. But they're not as bad as they seem because they warn us of danger with their bright colors or the sound of their rattles. Chameleons are very curious. They can change color, copying the landscape around them. They blend in with the background so no one can see them and they become almost invisible. Oof, wow. So let's remember the most important characteristics of reptiles. Reptiles walk by dragging their tummy on or close to the ground. They are oviparous. And their body is covered with strong, hard scales. They are vertebrates and are cold-blooded. And remember, they breathe with their lungs. Reptiles really are quite interesting, aren't they? Well, goodbye for now, everyone. And don't forget to subscribe. All right, friends, hopefully you learned something new about reptiles in that little video. Reptiles are another group of animals that have special physical characteristics. They have dry, scaly skin, not like little Tweet, right? They breathe air through their lungs. They can have no legs or they can have four legs. They hatch from eggs, which is called oviparous, and they're cold-blooded. Now, can you think of an animal that is a reptile and we saw a bunch in that video we just saw. So see if you can think of at least one animal that you saw in that video that is a reptile. I saw snakes, I saw turtles, I saw alligators, and then that cool kimono dragon. Um, a bunch of different kinds of lizards, right? Did you guys see those too? Okay, so here's what we're going to do next. So I pulled up a picture of a tortoise, which is just a kind of turtle, like a large turtle. And I don't know exactly what makes tortoises different than turtles. I'll have to research that. But I do, when I think of a tortoise, I think of a large turtle. And I think they stay on land. Some turtles go in the water, but tortoises stay on land, I believe. So I'm going to have to look into that. But anyway, I have a picture of a tortoise and a picture of a snake. So our lesson says there are all kinds of reptiles. Use a T-chart to write two ways a tortoise and a snake are alike and two ways they are different. So that's why we have our paper right here. So... We're going to think of what is the same. Another word for alike is same. So what is the same between a tortoise and a snake? They certainly don't look very similar, but they do have some things in common because they are both reptiles. So think of two things that are the same and you're going to write them right here. And then think of two ways that they are different and you'll go ahead and write that over here under D for different. I think the different category is a lot easier. So think about what they look like, think about how they move, um, think about what types of different things they can do. Like I see that this snake is actually like not on the ground. Um, so some of the different things they can do, some of the different things that they have, those are ways that they're different. For ways that they're the same, think about what 
all reptiles have in common. And we just learned about some of those things. So you just need two things that are the same, two things that are different. If you're having trouble writing out the words, give it a shot to draw it out. If you're having trouble figuring out how to write all those words, draw it out instead. So for example, I'll give you one that's the same. I know that they are oviparous. They both lay eggs and they both hatch from eggs. Oviparous is a very hard word to sound out, but I can draw some eggs and then maybe just label it like eggs. Okay. All right, guys. Now, you're going to pause the video and you're going to get to work, but I think today, instead of pausing the video on our red paper, you should pause the video with these two pictures up so that you can see them while you work. So go ahead and pause the video. All right, guys. So now that you're done with that, we're almost done with science, but I thought we could play a little game real quick. Um, we've learned about mammals birds, and reptiles. So I want to play a little game where I show you one of my kids stuffed animals and you needed to decide is that animal a mammal, a bird, or a reptile. Now I have to be honest here guys, I don't have very many reptile stuffed animals in my house. Um, so there aren't going to be very many reptiles, but I do have at least one. Okay. All right, here we go. You ready? Mammal, bird, or reptile? And answer as fast as you can. Here we go. Bird, you got it. What about this one? Mammal, how did you know? What about this little bunny? Made you think she was a mammal. Maybe her fur, you got it. What about this one? It's not a stuffed animal. It's actually a crystal, it's malachite. But what's it shaped like? It's a turtle and turtles are reptiles. Good job. Um, their bellies are low to the ground. They're oviparous. What about dun, da, 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 mammal, bird, or reptile? It's a bird. All right. What about a panda? A mammal. They have fur, right? and they're born from their moms and they have a spine, right? And they're warm blooded, mammal. Okay, what about this cutie pie? I don't know what kind of cat this is. Hmm, a lynx maybe? I don't know, I'm not a, I'm not a cat expert. It's a mammal for all the other things we just discussed, mammal. Um. Cute little doggy. Dogs are mammals. What about this? A bird. We have wings, feathers. They hatch out of eggs. They're oviparous. Did I already do this guy? No, I don't. No, I didn't do this guy. Koala. Mammal, bird, or reptile? Are you a mammal? Yes. All right, what about Hedwig, the snowy owl from Harry Potter? Oh, owls are birds, right? Wings, feathers, they can fly. I have a really tricky one, guys. This is a really tricky one. What about Stella Luna? She has wings, but she doesn't have feathers. Hmm. Maybe you can investigate that a little bit. Are bats birds or are they something else? I'll give you a clue. They're, they're not birds. They're not birds. See if you can figure out what kind of um, creature a bat is. All right, guys, that's it for this week. You are done with your lessons for this week, and I hope you have a really great weekend. I'm really proud of you. Good job working hard. Be super helpful and kind to everybody in your house this weekend, okay? Bye from Mrs. Hill and a little tweet. Bye.